Hello everyone, I hope that you're doing great. Uh, it's been a really long time that I haven't shared any tutorial. So I have been wanting to share this one with you from a very long time. This is about that how you can create panoramic images using your camera and your Lightroom. So this is pretty simple. So all you have to do is, for example, I have three shots of the city keeping the same line of horizon okay so here's the first one the second one and the third one all right so i am going to skip this one and let's see how it's done so you will select three pictures together right click go to photo merge panorama here it is so here you can see we just saw the simplest way to make a panorama this is exported version that I already did before and you can uh, do the adjustments later or if you want to make the adjustment before making a panorama you can do that as well so here's the view of this city and everything is sharp clear and uh, I have stitched three pictures together isn't it amazing there's another way to do things let me show you I want to show you this one that how this one was made so let's take the pictures it's uh, let's say one two and three I'm taking these three pictures the third picture is not uh, the third picture does not have the same line of horizon as the first two so I'm going to have some difficulty while making a panorama so I am going to show you now how it's done so when you don't have the same line of horizon in the all three pictures that you have selected to stitch or maybe more than three so you will see the result like this that uh, the upper portion of the image the panorama and the lower portion of the panorama you will see as empty and distorted so for that you can use uh, either fill edges or you can also go for auto crop i will show you both the options so i used fill here and you can also go for auto crop so auto crop what auto crop does is it crops the image from that area and minimizes the hassle for you so that's how it's done and you can you know just press the merge button it will be merged and the file will be shown next to the pre-selected three pictures i've already done here and made some adjustments here and i'll just wait for the one i just created now so this is the one i did earlier with these three images and this is the one that i did earlier and i also did some adjustments here so you know lightroom you know how to adjust the photos and uh, if not you can have a look on my another tutorial where i have told that how to use lightroom how to get a photo in lightroom uh, this is a very simple way to do it in these shots i did not have a tripod with me i kept the camera on the fence of my rooftop and i just moved it around keeping this thing in mind for example i just want to show you that how you are going to expose the pictures for example this was my first frame okay so the second frame i was about to move left so second frame i had to keep in mind that i am going to start my frame from here this object has to be on the right this uh, this uh, building has to be on the rightmost corner of my frame so as you can see that this is what i've done here so you see so that lightroom can pick the image data correctly so i kept it on the rightmost it doesn't lose any data while merging the photo and you don't uh, get to see any distortions so you can also do there's another way that you can do is you can you know start your frame from here but as i was not using the tripod i was keeping the camera on the fence so it worked for me very well and the third image and the third image this i kept this light as my mark that i had to cross this so i kept it here and then you have the result in 
front of you you can see it's pretty clear let it load yeah so as you can see this is the result this is the rightmost picture or this is the rightmost picture and then see how seamlessly it has been merged they you don't feel it that it has been merged it is very seamless very smooth you don't see any points you don't see any originating you don't see any pixelation here you don't see any error so the only thing you need to keep in mind is you need to be on the same camera settings and um, the second most important thing is that you know you have to keep the line of horizon in mind you cannot compromise on line of horizon otherwise it won't do it well so this is it for now this is the tutorial thank you so much for watching this video i hope this helps you and uh, i will share some panoramics uh, made at the daytime as well this one is still loading this is the one i did earlier and uh, made some adjustments on this a light adjustments i did earlier in this photo These are the long exposures. I think the next, uh, uh, I think the next tutorial I will be sharing is about the long shot exposures. Oh my God, I just love them. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I don't want you to take much of your time. This is Sherry Ashide signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Have a good day ahead. Bye bye.